Hello there challengers, my name is Jonas, also known as Jiggy, and welcome to the second episode of Still Unnamed Weekly Show about esports, League of Legends and new. Quick look at the Swiss tournament shows us that Chad's Dig Elo are at the very top with 9 points, followed by Lugis and Exodus with 8 points. The varsity fixtures will bring us a lot of really interesting games because there are no more teams that are undefeated. Yes. All of the teams have at least one loss in both Group A and Group B. Group A has UAE, Monkey Cage, Brunel Burners and Uni of Edinburgh. A team, by the way, really creative name lads, I really really like it. Uh, all at 7 wins and 2 losses, so all top 3 places have exactly the same amount of points. Group B looks really similar with LOL.EXE, Warwick Grace and Grossgor Army all at 8 wins and 1 loss, so all top 3 places as well have equal amount of points. So the games both in Varsity Fixtures and in Swiss Tournament should be really interesting this week and let's hope for really really good gameplay. Uh, hello, my name is Pedro Aguiar, also known as Sheb Xiao. I am uh, the top laner for the Rohampton team. I played last week where we uh, won all three games. It was, uh, it was really fun, really enjoyable. The team was working perfectly well together. Guy um, won the lane all three times. Brilliant. And uh, Jarvan, our team captain, was uh, ganking really well. And we managed to get all three victories. We believe he's BMing under the tower. I'm not sure if that's really the best thing for him to do whenever he can't really farm right now because he's against Draven. But Draven will push it out and be backing anytime soon now. And Alistair engages on him. Alistair lands the full knockup, full combo. He's stunned, but we have Jarvan coming in. Jarvan jumps in, alt, and gets the first blood. What a beautiful play by Jarvan, followed up by the kill for Draven. And at this point in the game, Draven just does not care. He's gonna go balls deep, try to v 2v1. Uh, Alistair and Kaisa and he's not even gonna bother Kais kiting he's just standing in one place catching his axes and he takes takes down Alistair what I can I say he is he is slightly fed and Vayne is out of position and H Hook lands somehow Vayne was trying to tumble away Hook landed on the very very edge of the hitbox and Vayne Vayne might be able to ex escape she knocked down Garen but Crash flashes in ignites and that's gonna be the end of Vayne And the play of the week goes to Guy the Salty with his Draven Squadra kill. The MVP this week goes to our team captain Julia, also known as 93645863337 for her amazing plays as Jarvan. Have you ever heard of top tier shows but don't have A-list celebrities in them? Neither have we. That's why this week we're talking to Rick, also known as Saga, and he's sharing his journey of how he became a shoutcaster. Uh, my name is Rick Sharples. I go by Saga online and uh, I cast League of Legends for the Newell. The Newell season, uh, once we finish, I th think, the spring split, the winner of that tournament will go on to the UE Masters, which last week was... Last week? Last year was Exeter that went to Tenerife to play there. And then the winner of that tournament, that's kind of like a, a European national tournament. The winner of that goes on to the ICC, which is a similar thing, but regional. Uh, so the International College Cup, and there's a bunch of teams from like China, from Korea, from Russia, everywhere, essentially across the world. Uh, it has the top college teams, and I was actually casting that uh, from a studio in Portugal as well. So it, yeah, it was all flights and hotels paid for and uh, a proper professional studio, thing like that. So that was the first real sort of big event that I'd actually done and so yeah that's definitely the one that stands out the most. And of course last but not least best clips from the last seven days from Newell's Twitch stream. Week three of the Newell and I think Ollie was downstairs putting his ice cream away I don't think he made it back in time. Uh, now we back boys let's go. Hey Ollie! Once there he again, is. It's, it's Republic oh. of Gamers, it's Intel, it's is discord.gg it? forward slash the Newell you know what it is. <laughs> Weaponry, but look at this five nade buys coming up on the teaser. Now we're gonna say goodbye to Shimpy in a second. I have a feeling. <laughs> oh, but he throws a big nade back for the hail oh. of nades coming and he gets taken down. Zero pizza ball losing half his health just as the ranks. The pizza hits him smack in the face and pizza ball gets deleted by his own name. Oh, oh the boomerang! Maybe I can listen to chat and maybe go and make sure my bed is looking a little bit more presentable. We'll be back <laughs> after this.
I think this game could be done. And this is pre-20 minutes. This is going to be almost pre... It could be pre-19 minutes. 1854, 1855, 1857, 1858, 1859 on the clock as we see Bristol Whip destroy Glasgow University. It's been a sunny day across the United Kingdom today. Things are heating up in this February and you... Oli, guess where else things are heating up? Could it be the Null University Series Week 3? It's it's the news league of legends university oh. series week three is happening it's getting boys. spicy boys We're but it's just emp that i'm really looking for lupo's looking for the opportunity oh my muddy wicket with four kills of the self-destructed instantly forces them off in overtime pork here over the top of the connector smoke and carlos he can play some shenanigans around here on the edge oh, of the oh the gets the quick triple and then he flash bangs away as well all of this would not be possible without the help from University of Roehampton. Did you know that University of Roehampton is the very first university in the United Kingdom to offer eSports scholarships? Yes, you heard it right. If you know anyone who's looking to study at university, they can come to University of Roehampton and maybe they'll be one of the lucky students who can get up to £1,500 to be an eSports athlete. To find more information, just search Roehampton eSports and you'll be able to apply straight away. That's it. That's our second episode of the Yet Unnamed Show. If you have any suggestions for the name and if you have any other feedback, we would love to hear it because we really, really love making this show. But as always, thank you for watching and we'll see you next week, you beautiful bastards.